Hello and welcome to this tutorial in MixCraft. I'm going to show you how to do a basic mix. Uh, I'm going to use the loops in here and but you could use your own recorded guitar if you like or instruments. So I'm going to make a new uh, MixCraft project without any tracks or instrument tracks and then go out here to the loop library and use the Vegas Rock um, uh, song kit. So first I'm going to find a uh, drum intro uh, fill was a different tempo so that's okay. So I'm going to color code this and make it yellow. And then um, let's look for a uh, something with ride in it. I got those and um, I need some bass. Okay, that'll work. And then make this a little bit longer. And then put a guitar part in there. Let's see, rhythm guitar. All right. Then probably a lead section. So, okay, rhythm starts there. Lead will start here. Just put that marker in. So I don't have any room to drag stuff in. So I'll make a new track by pressing Control G for G, another track. Okay, then uh, let's find some lead guitar. Okay, that'll work. Change those colors. Now you probably change the color on your own. Um, if you want to do this, it's fine. It just helps me group it together. So I'm going to close that. Now this drum section, like there, you might have track for just kick and a track for a snare track for hi-hats and you want to put all this stuff together um, so what you do is make a new uh, submix track I'll just call that drums you don't have to do this but for like some overall um, adjustments to the EQs and stuff like that it might help you out so I have all this stuff, so let's hear what we got. So press home key to go back. So I'm already seeing some clipping down here. So I'm going to that. Okay. So first thing I want to do is start dealing with the drums and the bass. So I'm going to select up here and then press L on the keyboard to loop this and then start going through here and working on this. So first I'll go into the drums and start messing with that. So I'm going to EQ this section. Let's try up here and use a 31 band. And I also want to put in a plugin called G Gain that you can download. It's a free program, free plugin. Make sure this isn't clipping. So it doesn't look like it's clipping right now. Then put the drums up here. Close this. And make the kick a little bit fatter. nothing at 80 that's it so make 
got a little bit fatter. So now I'm going to start dealing with the bass. And also put a 30 band. So where I increased on the kick, I'm going to decrease on the bass. Headphones aren't the greatest that I'm using, so they don't have a lot of bass response. So what I want to do is have the kick more prominent than the actual bass. Okay, so I got that uh, almost there and then uh, want to start dealing with the rhythm guitar so I'll loop this section out select an L on the keyboard and bring in the guitar and solo it and hear what's going on here so it probably needs a low cut just in the beginning I always put that in there Okay, so now I'll try the lead and the guitar. Let's see what's going on with this. Do a low cut in that one too. That's like a basic mix on that one. Okay. okay, now that this is going on, so I want to get the loudest part that's probably right in here. Yes, 
that's good. So there's not so much base that it's going all the way over and then up here. So then the compressor's got to compress that. So if it does do that, you're going to start getting that pumping sound. It sounds lousy, like your volume's going up and down. So see that the it's nice and even. The automatic gain control that's raising and lowering the volume to make sure it all stays consistent isn't like going crazy. Okay, so that's all right. So it's right about there. So if I brought this all the way up, it's going to make it. So what you want to do is get your gain so that it's coming up right to these two lines here and not pecking out on the red. So there's another plugin in here that's called the Isotope. just up to you what you want to use. Um, sometimes I put in just a little bit of reverb in there. It can be the classic reverb or the acoustica reverb, whatever you like. Just use this one normally, put it right above this. And then um, start off with light reverb and then adjust it. So that's basically how to get a basic mix and um, change that point to exact zero because when I get something else going on this section maybe I'll want to have that uh, going there so let's listen so you build in your dynamics a little bit there So just a note on clipping, if it's clipping anywhere, then you have distortion and you're not going to get a clean sound. So your kick drums, if your bass uh, is, you have a lot of low frequency distortions going on, it's not going to be clean. 
you won't have that nice punch to your bass and you see like right here you can hear all the instruments so you can close your eyes and okay i want to listen to the rhythm guitar okay i can hear that i want to listen to the bass okay i can hear that i want to hear the kick okay i can hear that you know the ride cymbal okay i can hear that and that's what you're looking at so that's basically uh how to get a basic mix and you can work on it more and get a fabulous mix uh, it's just how much uh experiment how much you want to get into it and um and then when you're ready to mix down just click the mix down button here and uh, you can uh, use the mp3 in the details make sure it's the highest quality if you have a selection made like you want just want to select your song and then mix down you can do that and this becomes available also if you want to fade out your track here at the end go to track and show master track and come in here and just fade it out wherever you want to do that. Um, and if you're sending this for mastering and things like that, what you want to do is the mix down there, you want to send them a FLAC file, uh, FLAC or WAVE, but usually a select FLAC, FLAC, sorry, in highest quality. You know, you can make it whatever resolution you want. But the highest quality is what you want to give them. Because they'll probably do a little bit of mastering to it also. And that concludes this tutorial. I hope this helps you out and you get some of your uh, recordings in and they start sounding good. And um, I hope to see you in the next tutorial. So have a great uh, day or week or weekend, whatever it is. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye now.